If you ever thought porting a game from console to PC was super easy work and how could anything be so messed up and weird, well in this video we're going to give you some of the weird bugs that 343 has been dealing with when porting Halo Reach to the MCC. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details and have some good laughs. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another update video here on Halo Reach on MCC goodness here. If you guys like these news informational videos, like these kind of funny kind of videos, because this one's going to be more a little comedy side of things, showing off the bugs that 343 has been dealing with when it comes to porting over Halo Reach to the MCC and PC. Well, and so if you guys like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's be know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video as well. If you're new to the channel, stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe to the channel. So let's get right into the video here. So all these videos were recently taken from the MCC development update blog that Postums put up for us the other week. And so I thought it'd be a fun thing to kind of share with you guys because there's a lot of weird things that happen when it comes to bringing games over to MCC or it comes to like updating the resolution when it comes to updating the frame rate things like that and just coming to a different platform just in general weird things happen and we're going to show them off in this video so this first bug is called best checkpoint ever so if you check out the video here you see yep just kind of flying around on you know you're playing your halo reach space mission which is probably one of the most unique missions in halo and i really like this one a lot actually uh not very times you get to do a space battle which halo reaches uh space battles on fall of reach are very prominent and what the heck just happened right there yeah like you can see like just some crazy spin action but then check out this checkpoint it's just <laughs> looping over and over and over again in that same spot like what an unfortunate location to have a checkpoint right there and it's like crazy flipping the mechanics that happen right there so like physics and things like that go off wonky when it comes to updating the frame rates and also uh, resolution as well are two big things especially if a game is tied to a certain frame rate then things get kind of weird i don't know if you guys have ever played um, skyrim but that stuff like that kind of happens but eventually the game recognizes your checkpoint gets all weird and it helps you get back into the game this next clip is called tank b everything which we all know from Halo 3 is very true and you know I hold that very true to my you know, life as well but uh, this tank is so good at beating you that you can't even use it as you can check out this clip here the Spartan just keeps jumping in and gets instantly booted out he jumps back in gets instantly booted out again for whatever reason, I don't know if it has to be something with that hill or anything in between, but yeah, stuff like this just kind of happens when it comes to game development. It's just weird, weird things. This next clip is called Emil Says No to New Friends. And you can see right here that when you're watching the clip that like this elite is just kind of following you for some reason, not taking out the, the plasma repeater. And then Emil just comes over and just punches him right in the face and is like, no. No elites allowed. So yeah, for some reason, the AI just kind of got wonky in that situation where the elite just wasn't using his rifle for some reason. Uh, again, just weird things that pop up when in, in game development. This fourth bug is called Now You See Me. And we check it out right here. And they're just kind of playing in their campaign mission right here. Oh, look, some grunts to shoot at. And, but, but, but they're just disappearing. For some reason, some of these grunts and enemies are just legitimately just to being literally deleted from the game when you shoot them, it's just so weird. Oh my gosh, like you imagine just having to grind out through all these bugs to figure them all out before releasing to the public, especially with a game like MCC. Wow, uh, that's no wonder it's taking so long to get this game out, guys, because I'm sure uh, they thought, oh yeah, we can just port it over, no big deal. Uh, no, there's a well of weird things that happen when it comes to this. This next clip is called Cat Rage. And when you watch it, you can kind of understand why. You're like, I'm just playing some more campaign. What's up, cat? And, oh my god! Yeah. For some reason, I'm sure that's a kind of a more of a frame rate physic physics issue. But Cat just later just like kind of bumps into you. You go flying and just through the collision into the wall kills you. Uh, so yeah, so like stuff like that usually kind of happens when it comes to when uh, a game is hardwired to a certain frame rate and then you just bump it up. Weird things like that just happen. And this final clip is called, You Had One Job. And when you're watching it, you understand why. So just kind of sitting here. When I first watched this, I didn't really understand what happened. All I saw was a big, huge explosion. But then when you actually look at what happened, the Marine right there just like staring at a wall and then shoots his rocket launcher and blows himself up. 
just like completely demolishes himself. I don't understand why the AI gets all wonky like that, but it's sometimes weird things happen and that's an example of weird things happening. So now you can kind of under understand a little bit why this is taking so long to get this game out to the public right here. Just that 343 really wants to do a lot of quality assurance to make sure that this game is how it was almost 10 years ago when it released back in 2010. Uh, just to make sure that our experience is up to par. I'm not watching these bugs. It kind of makes me surprised of how well the first flight performed for tip of the spear or unless like the team just really focused on making sure that that mission worked because uh, i didn't really hear much in the way of performance issues or bugs or anything like that it seemed to be rather smooth but while i'm watching these other things it seems like there's quite a lot of still work to be done there uh the next flight here for flight two is going to be fire F flight is what they're kind of calling here but firefight mode which kind of helps test out pvp and some ma and, uh, and some matchmaking settings as well and trust me if we get invited into flight two guys you better believe i will be on top of that as soon as possible 100 will be streaming it on my twitch channel link is in the description down below and i really appreciate 343 as post some specifically being this open and honest with the game development right here and uh, just showing some wonky weird things that are happening when it comes to testing out this game uh you know there's also a great improvement from what you know communication for 343 used to be just like what four years ago and now we actually get like this open book of development when it comes to bringing halo reach to the mcc and i really do appreciate that from the team uh for one helps us keep up to date two helps give this channel a little bit of content so you guys can know what's going on with the channel and what's going on with halo but also just the uh the general communication is just very well appreciated so we know as a player base what's going on imagine if they're just saying like nope still under development that's all it is that's all we can tell you it would be rather frustrating that we're about four months after the initial announcement and we've only had one flight since then uh, i'm assuming the 343 probably thought that this project would go by a little bit smoother than expected but halo reach is proving to be a bit of a uh, a hassle to get over to mcc and the pc uh, but I'm assuming that like when it comes to uh, the later games, I'm sure it would be fine. Maybe Halo 3 might have some issues with that, maybe even Halo 4 as well. Uh, but we have, uh, but then, you know, they looks like that they are currently working on the uh, CE, which says that they are, have a big list of bugs that they're looking to tackle with us. Not everything that's been uh, brought up for Halo CE is going to be touched on with this as well. Uh, I'll probably make that its own separate video as well. Uh, but, you know, CE, the one that we're playing on MCC, is actually the PC version. So I couldn't imagine it being too difficult bringing that to uh, the actual PC platform. And also with Halo 2, they're using, I think I believe they're also using the PC version on that one. Uh, so I can imagine that not being too difficult to bring to the PC. But I could really imagine Halo 3 being kind of weird when it comes to bringing to the PC. But since they were able to do it pretty well when it comes to uh, MCC, a lot, I think a lot of work when it comes to resolution and frame rate adjust adjustments has been done. And so I think that once we get past Halo Reach, guys, uh, the follow-up games are beca becoming along much quicker at a pace because I could not imagine it taking five months per game to come out because we'll be playing Halo Infinite by the time uh, you know all the MCC comes to PC but yeah from the last thing I read it sounded like it's close but not ready to be announced quite yet when it comes to the flight to release and trust me, when that release date gets announced, I will announce it on this channel as soon as possible. So make sure you're subscribed to keep up to date when that comes around. So if you guys like this news informational video, please make sure to tap that like button. If you like all these kind of weird bugs that the 343 were showing off, you know, let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are in the video as well. Which bug was your favorite? Uh, I'd say mine would probably just have to be cat. Just like gently just kind of walking up and then just, just go flying. It's just ridiculous. And also maybe the uh, the first one with the ship in space because like that crazy spin maneuver from just the minor physics of an explosion just set you into a tailspin of just disaster. Hey, if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe guys because it keeps you updated with everything going on with Halo. If you're missing any content from me or you're new to the channel, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.